let's talk a little bit about operators. Now, you might have this in your head. You might see it around, and you might wonder really what an operator is. Now, operators can be many, many things, and we're just going to cover a little bit about it just so you have an idea of what this term really means. Operators allow us to do operations. For example, when we do comparisons, we have a greater than sign. We check to see if A is greater than B or A is less than B or whatever, whatever that may be. That's an operator. And operators can also do assignments, like if we give B a value of what A is, dollar sign B is equal to A, well, that equal sign is also an operator. Ampersands, meaning that this is going to make an AND condition, that's an operator as well. And that's this little section here and this when we test. So that's an operator as well. OR is another thing that is used complementary with AND. And you can use the OR or AND. AND is the same thing as this double symbol. Or you can use the word OR or the double pipe. And you'll see that in the IF statements as well. We'll take a look at that other way of doing it. But those are operators. So you can assign values with operators. They're really the little symbols that you work with. Even when you assign strings, that dot in between the two strings, that's an operator as well. So if we look at strings, working with strings, and we'll just look at that working with strings file, that's an operator. So they allow us to do things like joining, comparisons, things like that. So you don't want to get confused about the names. And there are also different ways that we can deal with the parentheses here. Division, for example, multiplication, those are all operators. Addition and modulus, mod for short, that's the percent sign. So if you have 10 mod 2, for example, that's going to return the remainder. So it's different than A divided by B, for example. It's going to bring back the value that is the remainder. And if we just uncomment that, that's in language syntax, and we give dollar sign A is equal to 10, dollar sign B is equal to 3, that's going to divide 3 into 10. And 3 goes in there 3 times for 9, so the remainder is going to be 1. So that leftover stuff there, it's not going to use the decimal place. It'll just bring back a whole number. And you'll be able to see that there. We'll get rid of these here. Save it. A little bit sloppy, but this is, it doesn't matter. You can format this with tabs and, and things like that. And we'll actually put the echo up here. And save that. And we'll put an exclamation there so we know where it starts. Refresh. And this should be at the top, and yes it is, and there's our one. So 10 mod 3 is going to put 3 in, into 10. It knows that it goes three times this whole numbers, and then it returns 1 as the value because that's what's left over. That's the remainder. I use that a lot. It's very, very handy. Use it in Flash, all programming languages. Very handy to do that. So use that as you need to, but that's another operator. Many different ways, just making sure you're not confused about what an operator is. So we'll comment that back out. You can use it as you want to.